What's up everybody? This is the Russian Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I come out with a video for you guys every single day and I love doing it. So please join this. I'm really hoping we can build something awesome here. The three thoughts for the day are going to be never give up, follow your dreams, and as always, keep that PMA. Guys, let's get gaming. I don't know if you noticed something different here, but uh, we're a little bit far away from the life pod. And that's because we're on the island. Yep, that's right, guys. I took the liberty of swimming all the way over here on my own without you guys. It was very lonely, not going to lie. But we're here now, and we have a lot to go through. What? Can I... No, I can't. Can I, can I scan you? No, can't do anything with you guys. You are not edible. I need food. I'm hungry. I'm a growing child for crying out loud. What are you? What are you? Speckled? Crap. Whatever. Let's make some headway. What is this? Bulbo tree. I think this is one of the edible ones. I'm not sure, but I... I'm pretty sure this is edible. There we go. Okay, guys, we found the edible one. Okay, you're in my face. Okay, let's eat. Ah, beautiful. We're back and healthy. Woo! Okay. I gotta go up to the top of this mountain! <laughs> <It's like coughs> and that's a long walk. Oh, I'm getting fatigued. And that's the kind of thing we're looking for. There should be one up, right, yep, right up there. Alright. All right, this is good. We got a scanner. Bulkhead. That's good to have, I think. This gives you structure, roll integrity in your house, I believe. Did I just... I didn't know you could walk through doors in this game. And in PDA. Integrating new PDA data. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing <laughs> left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maker, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking of it. Uh, that's really intense, guys. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. That is really intense. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Ultra glide fins. I'm sure that's going to come in handy. So I'm, I'm assuming that means we get to swim even faster now. What the heck did I just try to scan? Well, something's... Spotlight. Oh, okay. That's good to have. Multi-purpose room. This is what we needed to build the house. Okay, guys, this is big. This is big. We can actually build a house now. I'm so excited. We're... I'm gonna make an episode. I'll pit my hat. What the heck are you and why are you doing that? Can I kill you? I'm sorry, buddy. I'd rather kill you before you kill me. Is that what I'm hearing all around here? Well, those things sound creepy. Indoor grow bed. Ooh, that's gonna come in handy for when we're in the ocean. Lantern tree. There's so many things to scan in this world. 
how do they expect us to scan all this? It's getting dark, guys. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want to be here for this, but wow, that is gorgeous. It's an amazing story, and I'm, I think I'm just going to go through them each in order. So this is the Degasi voice log one. Here's the voice, voice log two. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. Ooh. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what it tastes like, wow. let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bart, Torgo has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? Oh, shit. No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Guys, this is a crazy story that we're hearing here. Paul, let's hear Paul's side of it. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Maida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Maida salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not going to weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. Hmm. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. Wow. Ah, the first piece is complete. Look at that. It may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Don't tell me how to build my home. Space as your home, but never forget that it is not. That's what she thinks. We know better. This is definitely our home. All right, so we're going to need We're going to need multiple compartments, guys. Not going to lie. You know, it's just here we go. This is a this is a cute little cute little base we got going here. So it's not this amazing place, but we do have a home, and it is it is livable. Look at this. Look at this. Warning, emergency power only. What? Oxygen production offline. Really? How do I? Solar panels. Oi, that takes a lot of materials. So we need more quartz. Oi. Okay. I'm gonna get more quartz, guys. What? Solar powers work under... Okay. Welcome aboard if you say so. Systems online. Oh, look at this. We have a house, guys. Let's see if we can make this nice and even here, guys.
That looks even to me. How'd that come out? Pretty good. Pretty good if I say so myself. There we go, guys. We have two plants in there. That is awesome. That's going to sustain us. We're good. And how do I make a... Uh... Seek fluid intake. Oh, hush. I make a fabricator. Gold. I need gold. Oh. Titanium copper. Oh, that looks complicated. All right. That's, that's a lot of stuff. That is a lot that eclipse while the aurora was exploding in the last episode is actually incredibly rare i didn't realize how rare it actually was i've only seen one other account of it ever happening and that wasn't even actually it happening it was just very close it was the eclipse and then once the eclipse ended this started immediately after we actually had them both going on at the same exact time and I, I was shocked how rare it is. So you guys saw it right here on the Russian Gamer. That's where you saw it. Right here, our channel. That's right, our channel. Not my channel, our channel. Because that's what this is, guys. We're doing this together. Hello. Okay. Live pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. What's up? I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Yeah, you're nice recording, man. Hmm. Alright. So he doesn't know how technology works, obviously. Alright, so guys, while I was gone, I did a little more resource collecting. And we now have our own fabricator in our home. That is right. Fabricator in the home. We got food growing in the home. Not only that, we now spawn in the home, which I kind of found out by dying. So we have another incoming call. Hello. This is Sunbeam. Yep. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda. All right. And we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Yeah, I know. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former. But that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. <laughs> That's good. Just be good to bad. hear that. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Yo, thank you. Thank you. Can't wait. Awesome. They're coming for us, guys. So happy to hear that. That is great news. Wow. There's nothing left in there, in that pod that we need. I'm gonna save real quick, so this way nothing gets undone. Okay, there we go. We have our own fabricator, food, storage, and a spawn point, and power. So, this is amazing, guys. We're doing really good here. And I'm really happy with this. All right, guys. So I'm going to leave this video here. We got some great progress done. We went to the island. We saw a bunch of cool stuff. We brought back some food, some resources, and we got the containers that we need. We got a house built. Like I said, we would. It's a cute little house. In the next episode, we're going to improve on it big time. That's going to be the whole episode. It's going to be an episode of Pimp My House. That's what it's going to be. But for now, you guys take care. And as always, keep that PMA. Uh -huh.